Today's questioner asks, how do you overcome the challenge of being extremely resourceful, but not giving out all you can? If I'm reading this correctly, what you're asking is, I can do a lot of different things, I can wear a lot of hats and solve a lot of problems, but I'm not sure where to draw the line and say, I'm not stepping in here to solve this problem or address this issue. First, I want to recognize how powerful it is that you're asking this question. As someone who used to struggle with knowing where to draw this very line, I can tell you firsthand that not holding back something for yourself is the fastest way to burn out. And it's a short slide from there to illness, disorder, and disease. Before we talk about where to draw the line, it's important to understand where your energy levels are. If you're burnt out, or feel like you're headed in that direction, you need to be really conscious about making sure you're recharging faster than you're spending energy. You can learn more about burnout here, and I'll add a link to a blog post with more information in the show notes below. If this applies to you, it's important you understand that the way we recharge is through self-care. I'm going to send you to another great resource. You can learn more about building a self-care routine that works for you and your life in my free self-care toolkit. I'll add a link to get your copy in the show notes below. Okay, now let's talk about boundaries and where to draw the line between what you are and are not willing to do. You are responsible for your own thoughts, words, and actions. You are not responsible for the thoughts, words, and actions of anyone else. Let's apply that to work. You are responsible for your projects, for your job tasks and responsibilities. If you have extra energy and someone else needs help, great, help them out. But if your energy levels are lower, even if you know you can help someone else with their project, It's important to remember that it isn't your responsibility to help them. It is your responsibility to take care of yourself. And that means drawing a boundary and getting in some self-care. This comes up in your personal life too. You have a friend who's struggling to get healthy, so you agree to go for a walk with them every day. You already get up early every morning and work out, so you don't need the extra exercise, but you want to be there for your friend. Again, This is great if it either recharges you or you have the extra energy. But if you don't, it isn't your responsibility to help your friend reach their goal. Boundary work is big work and there are a lot of nuances. I'm going to link to both a blog post with more information and my free Boundaries Quick Start Guide, which offers you six simple yes or no questions and a framework for where to begin creating your boundaries with people, situations, and things. And I would suggest you consider working with a coach who can help you get clear on what is and isn't your responsibility and how to draw healthy boundaries that respect all you're able to do while also preserving your mental, physical, and emotional energy reserves. If you're interested in learning more about my coaching program, you can book a no-cost discovery session. Again, I'll add a link in the show notes below. I'm sending you a great big hug. You've got this. I hope you enjoyed this bit of solicited advice. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I post new content. conscious about making sure you're recharged. Excuse me, I don't need that. I don't need that.